Hey folks, today I want to talk to you a little bit about sound and synchronizing sound to your video, your GoPro videos, or any other kind of videos, whether you shoot them with another kind of cam camcorder or not. I get a lot of compliments about the sound of some of my uh, videos. Like for instance, right now I'm shooting with a uh, camcorder, which is sitting back behind me, sort of like this here, shooting over my shoulder. And um, I have this little, this little Zoom H2 in front of me, and this is what I use to record almost all of my audio. I have the Zoom H2 actually right now sitting uh, kind of on top of a salt box, so it's within about a foot of my face. And uh, I always like to match it up to the, the video, whatever I'm shooting. This video you're seeing here was shot with a GoPro Hero 3, which is in front of me. I'm getting ready to do a review of a little lens cap that I really like. So I thought I'd go ahead today and show people how I synchronize audio. Now, there are various ways you can do this. There's now a new nice audio uh, kind of auto synchronization function in Premiere Pro. I still kind of do it the old way because it's just so fast to do it. I don't even care anymore. I'm going to pull down this piece of video where this is me here, of course. I pulled it onto a timeline. And what I always do, I always do a hand clap kind of before I do my audio. I start my audio recording and then I start my, I have my camcorder recording as well. I do a hand clap, like a one, two, three, and you'll see right here, that little spike right there is my hand clap. Now, if you're not seeing this wave here, then it might be that your audio that you've brought in has been, is, is kind of like, you know, scrunched up. You can go here underneath this, if you don't know this already, and you can pull that down. You can look at the wave. And so you can see here, here's an audio spike. I'm going to pull close to it. I can hear my hand clapping here. I'm going to do a C, hit a, a C on my keyboard, turns my cursor into a razor. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say V to turn it back into a uh, pointer. So I hit my V uh, on my uh, keyboard. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to do a ripple delete by right clicking here in the gray and hitting ripple delete. Now I have got, if I zoom all the way in on that, I uh, should have right there is where my hand clap is. And I can see the spike. Well, I'm going to get the audio over here that I recorded for that same uh, piece of video. I'm going to synchronize it just by doing this. I'm going to look for where that spike is. I can see right here is roughly where it is. I, there's my three, two, one, and my spike, or I say one, two, three sometimes. One, two, three. Now I'm going to go ahead and put, and I'm hitting a mark in here. This is the mark in. So all this is going to be gone. Just this is what I'm going to pull down. I'm going to pull this down to the audio below. Now I'm going to pull the screen up a little bit just by grabbing in the middle here and dragging up so you can see the bottom screen. And I'm going to pull this one down. I'm going to kind of get there in that little area, uh, and I'm going to pull this down so I can see the spike on this one. Now look, that spike's off, right? So I'm going to pull it in a little. And see, all it lets you do is a frame, right? So I'm going to pull that in. Now, does that look pretty well synchronized? It does look pretty well synchronized. So this time, I actually got lucky. The problem you're going to run into a lot of times with synchronizing your audio is you are dealing with like 1 30th of a second or 1 24th of a second. Each frame takes up time, right? And your audio doesn't always match up to that. I'm going to show you a trick I use. I go to this little thing right over here. looks like a little uh, down arrow with some lines beside it. And I go to a thing that says show audio time units here. Show audio time units under this little thing right here, right? Okay, then I'm going to go back over here. What that allows me to do, it allows me to zoom in beyond just the frame, right? So now I can see I'm not exactly lined up on that spike. And I want my audio to match up pretty well. So I'm going to kind of pull the end back. I'm going to pull this in. Now that's starting to look pretty dead on. I might come just a little bit farther this way. I'm thinking that is pretty well synchronized. Kind of looking at the little peaks and valleys here. I believe I've got that probably synced about as well as I'm going to sync it. Now, the thing you always, if you do this trick here, like sometimes your audio will start over here. You can come in real close. You can pull these things in. You can get them exactly matched up. But the thing you don't want to forget to do is go back over here now after you're finished and turn the audio time units off. Otherwise, it's real aggravating to do frame accurate editing of the video. So now I have audio that is perfectly synchronized up to the video. So I'm going to turn my, here's what the other thing I'm going to do. I can see I'm a little, I'm not quite so hot on this audio here. I'm going to bump it up just a little bit. I'm going to go to, uh, I right clicked on it and I'm going to go to audio gain. I'm going to bump it up about three decibels. And that's looking fairly fat. And I'll show you kind of the difference here. Now this is GoPro Hero 3 audio and the, the GoPro was pretty close to me. So it probably sounds pretty good. Uh, like right now, I'm telling you the camera is behind me shooting the screen. So I'm going to go here. Let's test it and see. Here's how the, uh, let's turn it up a little bit. All right. And I'll let you hear kind of how the audio sounds off of the Hero 3 first. 
to get off sometimes. You'll be outside and you'll be in a hurry to get in. You, you can't. Okay, that's the Hero 3 audio. I'm going to mute that and I'm going to play the other audio coming off the other device. I can't really pull them off. Well, I have four GoPro Hero 3s. I'm recording this now on a Hero 3 Plus. Much stronger, less, uh, uh, you know, distant sound and audio. So I always use the Zoom H2 audio. That's the way you sync it. And that's my little tip of the day here to help you synchronize your audio. I always uh, kind of use audio off a different device. You know, it doesn't matter how good the camcorder is to me. Even the most high-end Canon camcorders and Sonys that I use, the audio coming off that camcorder never sounds as good as somebody close mic'd. And I am saying right now that these little guys, they got good condenser mics in them. You can buy them for about 150 bucks each. This is an old H2. They have one called the H2N now, and they're very crystal clear audio. So as I place it back down here and you, you hear me no longer fidget with it, um, I do highly recommend that. There are other good recorders as well. I know Tascam and different different people make other ones but the zoom has always been a little workhorse for me i i've dropped them you know slammed them up against walls by mistake i've stomped on them <laughs> you can't hardly kill them they look like they're made out of just cheap plastic but they're honestly made like a little tank so hope this helps folks uh cheers good luck subscribe if you like send me any comments questions peace